Hello everyone, my name is Luis Barreto, and today we'll be talking about a topic that is near and dear to my heart. It's called Thinking Outside the Box. Thanks for joining me. So let's start taking a look at this box conundrum. See, the thing is that we've all heard it at one point or another, but I don't think we all understand it. And as an art educator, I think I should explain this conundrum. As early as I can remember, I've always been told to think outside the box. But what does that even mean? How do you think outside a box you can't even see? The idea of this invisible box tormented me growing up. I loathe hearing you had to think outside the box. What I put in this box determines who I am as an artist and how I deal with this conundrum. I had so many questions, but I had so little responses. It was an invisible cage I had gotten locked into, and it became my job to figure a way out. This invisible box isn't a new idea, however. Let's take a look at a few artists and see how they thought outside the box. Leonardo da Vinci, an Italian artist who revitalized the Greco-Roman ideologies and masters the fine arts while designing numerous inventions. How did he think outside the box? What about the Dutch painter Vincent van Gogh, moving away from realism and focusing on color and movement? His loose brushstrokes and the use of color define a post-impressionist art world. Or how about Pablo Picasso, completely abandoned the notion of traditional painting and focus on form and shapes. His abstract images shattered the preconceived ideas of portraits, landscapes, and space in painting. Out of all these artists that have come and gone, why do we always focus on a select few? Do we subconsciously realize that all these artists found a way outside this invisible frame? Every time I ask someone, they would say, think differently or look at it from a different point of view. But how exactly do you do that? It seems like a riddle without an answer, or an answer that was kept secret. I was baffled, or at least I was, until I realized something. Imagine for a moment, I'm in my classroom. We're discussing this very topic. How every artist at one point or another overcomes this box and how they stand apart from the other artists and their time. Suddenly one of my students asks, Mr. Barreto, how did you think outside the box? Well, it wasn't easy, but I realized I don't. Saying you must think outside the box without explaining where the box ends isn't really helpful. The real challenge then lies in finding the boundaries of the box. I would advocate to think inside the box, realize the rules, study the disciplines. Don't just jump straight into different perspectives or creativity. It's the classic, if you can't beat them, join them method. As the famous pop artist Andy Warhol once said in an interview where they questioned the creativity of his own artwork, quote, if you can't beat it, join it. More, if you enter it totally, you might expose it. Artists love to be unique and individual, but the problem is that they're all responding to the challenge communally. Just being aware of this box will ultimately lead you to thinking outside of it. It's easier to go beyond the boundaries once you know where you stand. Don't be afraid to think inside the box once in a while. Thanks again for joining me. Goodbye.